What would you talk about? If you could make a video right now, what would you talk about? Spiders in pancakes? All right, well, we'll talk about spiders. Spiders are horrible. So I, for a long time, I had a fear of cutting, not knives. I love knives. Knives are cool, but like the fear of getting cut. So dummy me, I needed a job when I was fresh when I was fresh out of college, and so I got a job as a vegetable cutter. I got over my fear pretty quickly because my paycheck depended on it. So going back to spiders, uh, I thought being in, a, in a, an apartment where we have spiders every summer and a whole bunch of spiders, I thought that would be really helpful. And then winter came and then winter went. The spiders came back the next summer and I was scared of them again. I can't in the foreseeable future get a job that requires that I play with spiders all day. So in my childhood home, my dad had a woodworking shop. One day, he calls me down to his workshop, he says, check this out. And he goes over to one of his, you know, it's in the basement, he's got a basement window. And there's a spider stuck in the window, Dan taps on the glass, and this spider starts dancing. It's like... He thought it was hilarious. And I realized when I got older that uh, this is sort of like animal abuse. Like, you don't like spiders, dude, that's fine, whatever, but... You're harassing a spider for no reason. So it's kind of demented. At best, it's super weird. At worst, it's a sign of dementia or possibly even uh, sociopathy. It's not gonna record me, is it? Right out that window. Last summer, we had a spider. It was the first time that we found out about these spiders that uh, are common in cities. Apparently flies on the wind and attaches to buildings. They're really prevalent in skyscrapers, taller buildings in big cities. The windows of people's houses, they have lights and that attracts bugs and so they camp out where these bugs are. Uh, very, very creepy to have a spider, a bunch of spiders living outside your window. It's also really clever. The spider, I think we named Buck, uh, was a good friend of the family. The, uh, our kids loved him. Uh, yeah, it's a good time. So near our house, there's this little uh, patch of like greenery. Every summer, it gets chock full of bugs, uh, mostly spiders. We used to park next to this patch of greenery, and um, we got spiders in our car. My wife asked one of her coworkers, you know, what do you do? How do you deal with this? And he was like, yeah, that's really prevalent. A month goes by, maybe two months, and one day it came up in conversation with her coworkers. And at this same guy, he says, well, you don't just live with them. I kill them gradually, but by putting bleach all the way around the doors and cleaning everything out, they're less likely to come back because of the smell of the bleach. When Jess asked me about it, I was like, yeah, that happened with my Dodge Neon. And I didn't give a shit. So I just, I just let them live there. And that was a dumb solution. And then I just passed that on. And I guess that was the solution we went with again for a little while anyway.